What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to part 3 of my playthrough of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back on the PlayStation 4. This is part of the Insane Trilogy uh, and in part 2 we did two levels. We did Snow Go which is right here. It's a snow level. Luckily, there were no snow levels in the first crash, but there's a bunch of them in this game. Uh, and we were able to get the clear gem for breaking all the boxes, because if you remember, there was one section that we went to towards the middle of the level where we dropped down a pit, and it landed us in a new area of the level. And if you go back towards the screen, you'll see a green nitrous switch box that you have to hit. So we got that, but we couldn't get the red gem because you have to actually enter Snowgo through another level and it will drop you right on top of the red gem. So we'll have to get that one later. And then we did Hang 8, which was very similar to Upstream and Up the Creek from Crash 1, where it's like a water level. But it's not, you're not underwater, but it's like, you know, you're jumping over gaps above the water. And we got the clear gem for breaking all the boxes, but there's another clear gem you can get for entering this level through another level. So we'll have to do that later as well, but now we can move on to the pits and crash dash. So we'll see how long it takes me to do the pits. If it takes a while, then we'll probably just make that one part and then the next part we can do crash dash and the first boss. So let's enter the pits don't remember this level at all break locked boxes with a well-aimed body slam oh there's locked boxes in this game cool all right so what's this level the pits oh well this is cool this is just like the first level okay and there's 53 boxes yeah, so the first level is called turtle woods so this is like turtle woods all right I could do this we got 17 lives already. That's pretty good. Remember, you gotta do a bunch of slide jumping in this game because the gaps are a lot further apart than they were in the first game. Because in the first game, you couldn't slide jump or crouch. You could only single jump. Now, if you like, just press the X button, you do a little jump. If you held the X button, you do a bigger jump. But now you can slide jump. So if you crouch and jump, you'll jump really high, but if you're moving, you'll slide jump. Now you see that bird over there, you gotta watch out for the bird. He's gonna like pounce at you like this. Ah! Get out of the way, bird! Yeah, take that, bird. Alright. Just let that blow up. Ah, my way bird. So you can just avoid them like that, or I think you may be able to spin them, but I think they have a helmet on, so you may not be able to spin them. Maybe you can jump on them. I think you gotta jump on them. Or just go around them like that. That works too. I don't think this is anything. Yeah, that's nothing. Okay, so we got eight boxes so far. I think this level has a split path. Pretty sure. Oh, we got a double Aku Aku mask already. That'll help. Come on, bird. Come at me. Yeah? How'd that work out for you, dumb bird? Oh, whoa. Watch out for these turtles. So you can't actually jump on these turtles. You have to slide them. And then you can just get rid of them like that, because they have the little saw blades on them, so you can't jump on them. Oh, look at this! Oh, I thought that was another Akua mask. I thought I was going to go triple Aku Aku right there. Oh, I almost slid right into it! Okay. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Sweet! Get out of my way. Okay. Is that 
should finish up this path. And then we gotta go down the other path. Oh, what, what does this do? What does that do? Did that do anything? I can't remember what that does. That activates, like, invisible boxes, but I don't know where it did it. Oh! Ah oh, I jumped on him. Oh, we gotta go back the other way. Shoot. I gotta go back towards the camera. This is gonna suck. I gotta go down that other path to get all the boxes, but we got the crystal, that's good. Oh, and the bird came back, you dumb bird. Out of my way, armadillo. It's so hard going towards the screen, because you just don't know where the things are. Just gotta take it slow. Oh. Okay. Oh, I almost <laughs> jumped in there. Okay, now we can go down this way. Oh yeah, just get out of my way. Get out of my way, you stupid turtles. There's so many variants of turtles. There's regular turtles, there's these turtles. It's like... In the first game, it was just generic turtle. Oh. The problem is, I'm gonna have to go that other way again. I think. Unless this is a continuation of the split path. I don't remember. Probably should have seen how far that other path went before coming this way, because now I'm going to have to go back towards the camera again. Maybe. Oh! If you remember, those are the same birds that we jumped on their head in Stormy Ascent and Slippery Climb. Oh, here's the split path. What? Oh, I could have kept going. Alright, well, how far back do we need to go? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I just crouched right in front of it. Oh, I think this is where I was. Yeah, this is where I was. Okay, so we did the whole... We did both split paths. Now we can keep going. There's gotta be a bonus level somewhere. Where the rest of the boxes are. You would think. Oh, checkpoint. Should have slide jumped there. That's not good. That's gonna be really far back. Or is it? Oh, maybe this isn't that far back. I thought I was at the other checkpoint. It's still pretty far back, but it's not as far back as I could have been. Damn it, I lost my stupid masks. I needed those. Come on, bird. And he went right into me. I've avoided those birds every time. Oh, I think... Oh, you have to jump on them. See? You see this game, man? Oh, nice. Collateral damage. You see how you got the turtles where you gotta spin them? And then you got the turtles where you gotta slide them. And then you got the turtles where you gotta jump on them. There's so many turtles. Losing my lives, man. I'm not game overing in this game. I game over twice and crash one. I'm not doing it here. Come on, bird. Come on. Ah! The one time I don't avoid the bird. Alright, can keep going, I think. Well, see, now I made the jump. Like, are you serious? another one. Damn, that was five moles I had to hit. Oh, here's the bonus. Finally, that's a checkpoint. Okay, so if you remember it said that you have to body slam these uh, metal boxes. These locked boxes. You can't hit them any other way. You have to body slam them like that. It's pretty cool. It's a new variant on the box in this game. 
Oh, and another thing you can do is you can crawl like this under here. How cool is that? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I probably should have um, left more of those there because I have to get back to get those boxes. Yeah, as you can see, I... Yep. If I had double jump, I would have made that. I don't know. Can you slide jump on a box? I don't think you can. Well, I mean, I, I, you can't slide jump on that box because it's a jumping box. Alright, so how do I want to approach this? Can I slide jump over all three of those? How did I break that one? How did I do that? I don't know how I did that. Now you're probably wondering, I thought there was double jump in this game. There is, you just have to unlock it. So the interesting thing about this game is that each time you beat a boss, you gain an extra power. Okay, you gain an extra power up. So for instance, one of the power-ups is the running shoes, and you need those to do the time trials, and then I think you get double jump, which is great, because now you can double jump and slide jump. So you can slide jump into a double jump, and you just you go so far. I wonder if I go... I want to try something. No, I can't get up high enough. Okay. That worked. Sort of. Okay. Okay. Yeah, give me that fruit. I need that fruit, man. Now the tough part, because here's the thing, I got to get back over there to get that box, and then I have to get back again to do this. See how hard that is? How am I going to do this? Okay. You want to crouch jump here. Nope. Stupid perspective. There we go. So now we can just break these boxes. There we go. We did it. Get on top. Alright, we did it. Whew. That took a while. It's a difficult bonus level. Oh, and there's only two boxes left. And they should be up ahead. We got 20 lives. Dude, we're swimming in lives now. out for these moles. They eventually come out of their hole and they attack you. A little tiny mole is, no, is apparently a threat to little old Crash Bandicoot. Get out of my way! And you get out of my way! Another pit? I have all the boxes. Just let me finish the level. Ugh. And that's it. We got it. That's another clear gem in the books. Alright. Good job, Crash. Uh, that level did take a while. I knew it would. Uh, oh, and he pulls the crystal out of his ear. And he pulls the gem out of his butt. So the funny thing is, in the first game, if you missed any boxes in the level, there'd be like a screen where it said, Great, but you missed this many boxes. And the boxes would like smash on top of your head. They got rid of that in this game. I kind of wish they had 
left that in because it was so funny because it adds insult to injury because you know that you missed boxes and the game lets you know that you missed them but in this game it doesn't show you it's just like if you don't get the crisp or the gem you just don't get it okay so that's probably going to end this part in the next part we'll do crash dash and then we'll do the first boss fight which i think is ripperoo but i don't know i think it's ripperoo but i could be wrong and I don't remember what Crash Dash is like. It might be like the boulder levels from the first Crash game where you get chased by something. I don't know if you're getting chased by a boulder or if you're getting chased by something else. But you're definitely getting chased by something. We'll do that part next time. To review what we've done so far, we've gotten four clear gems, which is pretty good. Uh, we've only missed one clear gem so far and one colored gem so far. We've gotten four out of five crystals. So we just need one more crystal to finish this level and one more gem. So that's good. Um, but that'll do it for now. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new by hitting that subscribe button. <laughs> And then go and click on that notification bell, set it to all notifications, you never miss any of my videos, and Crash and I will see you in part 4, where we can hopefully finish Warp Room 1. So I'll see you all later.